Not one, but two Yaldabaoths exist in the world, at least according to Metal Archives anyway. I don't know why, there must be some cool meaning to the name which I'm not aware of. But anyway, here we go. This one is from Alaska, United States of America. And in case which you're wondering, the other one is from Brazil. Now, this one is a black metal band, and to be honest, there are only there is only one other uh, black metal band from Alaska which I have heard prior to this one. And as it so happens, uh, that one band, Atria Patrus, or however it is pronounced, um, actually has some members or some member, I'm not uh, how convinced or <laughs> aware how it is, is also a uh, member of this band. This is just a knowledge I got from the label, Aesthetic Death. Thank you for the review copy, by the way. And um, as it seems, same scene produces quite a few bands, but Metal Archives is not up to date with that. So here we have this um, kind of a cover booklet. It's not a typical booklet, but kind of a poster, as you can see. And pardon for the natural light, uh, I'm a little bit restricted how I do these videos. And now spring, spring sun is shining upon me. It's kind of a reflects on these videos as well. Anyway, this is how you get an idea how this looks. Rather nice, did you back with rather nice poster like um, setup right there. And here we have Yelled About's Metal Archives site, as you can see, Anchorage, Alaska. Gotta say, this is a place I would love to go. Not so much for the bands, but, you know, just to go to Alaska. Must be some cool place. I actually met one guy at Silverfest 2019 who was over all over from Alaska. And I was like, man, that is so cool to come to Finland from Alaska and all the time. And we're talking about, you know, picking salmons from river and all that cool shit while drinking beer and listening to Sodom. Can you imagine that? Now, back to review. Uh, so, as you can see, this one is uh, out already previously one by one split, and this is the debut album, that which with the saccharine palette. Sorry for my pronunciation, not sure how all these words are pronounced, just guessing my best. And as you can see, roughly 45 minutes with some six tracks. A little bit lengthy ones, at least some of them, but there you have it. And... Um, on this metal like I said, there is no Facebook link, but there is luckily a Bandcamp site where you can actually listen to this music. It will be featured in the description box in case you want to just take a look at it yourself on this music, which I always strongly recommend. It doesn't matter what my opinion about the music is, the point here is to tell you about this music and where you can find it. And obviously give you a little bit kind of a... Um, inside what this band is all about and how the music might be listening or something. And here you can see this pretty cool uh, image. It doesn't look like much if you take a quick glimpse, but when you actually stare at the motherfucker, uh, you will quickly notice that there's some details here, like this guy being strangled by this snake, or, well, serpent creature, and the other one, which is, in my opinion, a rather Asian style, kind of a Chinese dragon or whatever. There's some strong mythological feeling with this image and I like when it goes to this detail. It doesn't actually look that good on the CD. I just quickly open it and blah blah blah. Once you start just looking at it, it becomes quite, quite cool image in my opinion. So let's just have it here. Now when it comes to the music of this album, it's quite a task because this is not your uh, simple black metal album out there. This is actually one with kind of a two ways. First, it sounds like it's just fast forward, rather aggressive and intense black metal, you know, coming all over you and just, you know, trying to tear you up. And kind of a basic, in a way, it's, you know, basic, fast tempo, black metal with some, you know, melodic parts in that. Then it starts to go with weird ways because it's kind of like avant-garde-ish riffs. Some of, some of them are really kind of a labyrinthine riffs like if Morbid Angel was on LSD or something. Like weird riffs which sometimes make sense and sometimes they don't. They sometimes definitely don't. It's kind of a vortex of riffs which is just too much for me to handle. Well, most of the time when we're talking about these particular riffs. The other parts, the more intense ones, the more straightforward style, well, that is pretty much just like easy to enjoy and all that stuff. 
But when we go into this avant-gardish side, I don't have a knob in my head when I just, you know, switch on to that mode. I either like it usually straight away or then I just get this allergic reaction like a rash, which you're like, ah, oh, get out of my head. Now, this is not to say that it is a bad thing that they have these. It's mer I'm merely trying to point it out that this is not for everybody. It's definitely my cup of, not my cup of tea with these kind of uh, labyrinthine riffs, these weird ideas. But then again, people who are into that kind of stuff might actually find this very likable because the band kind of has its own style, you know? It's not for everybody, but for those who have the passion, who are into the kind of a weirdness of riffs might be just like having you know, finding these treasures layer after layer after layer. And it is it is bizarre kind of a thing. Kind of a marginal black metal music. But once again, I want to underline that there are like two sides on this album. You know, the more straightforward ones, which might be then again boring if you're looking for full avant-garde experience, or at least experimental black metal experience. And so it's hard to say for which kind of audience this is. I guess this is a marginal of marginal people who can actually enjoy this. And to be honest, the production is not too shabby. Also, the vocals are diverse in t terms that there are like more traditional shrieky parts, which are rather easy to forget, but at least they are doing their job rather well. And then there are these kind of a B-class growly parts, which remind me of many B-class death metal bands with their not-so-good vocalist. I mean... It's not like the growly parts are that bad, but it's like they don't they are not in the right place. It feels like they are misplaced here, like, hey, you're in the wrong studio, that one, the next door is your place. I don't know. Uh for peop some people this might be just hey, the album of the year. But be warned, this is not for everybody. With this information, now you can just pretty much start listening to the music and enjoy Yaldabaoth. And in case you just feel right away after the first track, this is not your cup of tea. Well, can't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, thank you for watching the review. And once again, be well, stay healthy, wash your hands. Bye-bye.